God, this is not a good position right here. There he is again. That's a better one, I think. Yep, big one. an old big one right there. <laughs> hey guys, Derek Cardinal here, Bassmaster Elite Series Pro, and let's talk a little bit about wintertime fishing, guys. Let's face it, up north, guys, everything freezes over, but down here in the south, anywhere from Tennessee and further south, um, that's when some of the biggest fish are caught. A lot of people concentrate on spawn, but I really like to concentrate on winter to catch in a fish of a lifetime. Guys, I'm gonna give you guys three baits that are must-have, especially down here in the south during the wintertime to catch absolute big fish, and I'm gonna give you three of them right now. This Pro Little John 50, guys, is, is one of the most versatile baits because you know you can get this bait down to about five to six foot with the correct setup. That's where I'm trying, that, that's the, the target, the, the target depth that I'm trying to achieve, especially in the wintertime. A lot of fish are shallow, guys, in the wintertime, and I really believe that most fish are shallow in the wintertimes other than when those fish are up there spawning. That four to six foot um, range is where you want to go in and this this Spro Little John 50 is is perfect for that depth. 12 pound fluorocarbon I can get it down to about five to six foot. Now if I'm trying to target fish in three to five foot I'll go up to 15 pound fluorocarbon because the size of your line will dictate the depth and the rod action along with the uh, along with the correct gear ratio on your reel you can get that you can get that depth achieved. So remember if you're reeling this crankbait and you cannot feel the cover you need to adjust, go lighter line, make longer cast to make sure this bait is always deflecting off a of cover. Number two. Now this may be a little area specific, but guys, down here in the south, we have a lot of vegetation. You start getting into the winter time, the vegetation starts dying off. You have a lot of floating dead mats, um, even some still floating, even some still lily pads, you know, anything that those fish can get their heads underneath. Guys, I love to catch big fish punching, and I will do it as long as that cover, that cover is available. You know, nothing more than a missile baits D-bomb, guys. More big fish have been caught off of this bait than anything in my tackle box. One ounce tungsten, always peg it. I have a four alt um, Gamagatsu heavy cover flipping hook, guys. You do not want to bring a tricycle to a NASCAR race when you're punching. 7-4, heavy, extra fast by Legend Extreme, big hook, big setup, big line, braid is a must. Either 50 or 65 pound braid. The key to punching guys is to end that fight absolutely as quick as you can. You want to get them out of that heavy cover as fast as you can. That way you have the advantage. But guys, punching year round, but especially when you start getting into early winter and a lot of that vegetation starts dying off, the fish really, uh, they really stick to that cover like a magnet, guys. And third, is of course a bladed jig guys. The bladed jig you can be so versatile with it. You can there's a variety of different trailers you can put on it. You know, I really like to get this down into vegetation and really rip it out of it. Especially you can start getting late fall, early winter, all the way through the winter. If you have vegetation guys, you must have a bladed jig um, on your deck right here. I like to throw this on a St. Croix Mojo Bass. This is a 7-1 medium fast tip. This, this rod has a pretty good tip on it guys. I'm telling you, with a bladed jig, getting the hook into that fish is number one important thing. I'm throwing this on either 15 or 17 pound fluorocarbon. You know, I like to beef a lot of my stuff up that time of the year, especially with a big hook. You need to make sure that hook gets into that fish's mouth, but guys, but especially in the south, guys, from Tennessee and south, these are my three must-haves. These are three of the baits that I've caught some of the biggest fish on during the, during the winter time. So, guys, I hope this helps. I hope this helps to put the fish of a lifetime in your boat. Talk to you guys soon.